Hello, today I wanted to make a video on cloth diapering. I want to share with you how to cloth diaper, how I cloth diapered my baby, and all the benefits that come along with it. So I have three children, and my first two children I used regular disposable diapers. And then with my third child I decided I wanted to do cloth diapers. So I'm coming from this as someone who has done it both ways. And if I were to have another baby, I would definitely do cloth diapers again because overall the experience was really nice and we enjoyed it. So the first thing I want to share with you is how to actually put a cloth diaper on a baby because I know that was one thing that I really struggled to get information on was how to put it on properly. <laughs> so I want to show you how to do that. And then I want to share with you all the things that you will need if you want to cloth diaper. I also want to show you how to clean cloth diapers because I think that that is probably one of the things that keeps people from cloth diapering to begin with is it feels very daunting, the idea of having to clean them yourself, but it's really not that difficult. And so I want to show you some little tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way that has actually made the process pretty easy. And then I want to show you how I store my diapers and also all the benefits that come along when you cloth diaper, including how much money you could save. So let's get right into it. First, I'm gonna show you how to put a diaper on. Okay, so I will be demonstrating how to put a diaper on on this teddy bear. So first, what you're gonna need is your diaper, and you're gonna lay the seams at the top towards your baby's head or your teddy bear. And then you're gonna lay their bottom right above or right below the seam. And you're gonna take the diaper and you're gonna fold it into thirds at the bottom. So kind of like that. So the top of it is just barely not in the third, it's kind of sticking out. And then you'll bring it between their legs and then you're just gonna spread the top out a little bit like that. And then you're gonna grab the back side and pull it around to the front. And you're gonna take one of these clips or pins, but I, I like these better. And you do the other side and you pull that down like that. And then you're gonna need a cover, a diaper protector, waterproof. You just lay it underneath. You put it on like a regular diaper. And then they have these different snaps. And so if your baby is really little, like in the beginning, you'll want it to be smaller. And so you can attach these like that. And it makes the diaper you know, not, as, not as big. And then you just bring the back side around and I'll snap them wherever you think is best. You want it to be tight, but not too tight. And so yeah, snap these <laughs> and that's, that's how you do it. So it's pretty easy. You just kind of snap it to change the diaper, take that off and that's, that's how you do. Okay, so the next thing I want to share with you is what you're going to need if you want to cloth diaper. So obviously you're going to need cloth diapers and I bought my cloth diapers from greenmountaindiapers.com and I can leave their website in the description if you want to go check them out. But I really love the company. They ship their products really quickly. I think I order from them three or four different times and every time it was I had it within like three to five days. It's really fast shipping. Um, they have organic cotton diapers, all different sizes. They also offer uh, wipes, cotton wipes that you can use if you don't want to use uh, the disposable wipes. And so, um, yeah, it was a really great company. And so now I'm going to flip the camera around and show you all the diapers that I bought and the covers and everything else that you're going to need. Okay, so here are the cloth diapers. I did go ahead and buy newborn diapers, but to be honest, we did not really use these. My baby was really big though. He was almost 10 pounds and over 21 inches long. So if you know you're gonna have a big baby, I would definitely not recommend getting newborn. But if you're not sure, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have. But see on the tag, it shows you these are the newborn size. And then I ended up getting 24 of the, I think it's a small, yes, small. And that worked out really good for us. We had 24 of these and that was enough. And then as he got a little bigger, 
you know, they stop going to the bathroom quite as often. And so I only got 12 of size medium. And then I also got size large, which is what he's in now. And we have 12 of those. And that has served us just fine. You're also going to want waterproof diaper covers. And I ended up buying the Rumper Roos. And we really love these. They worked well. We very rarely had a, a get on his clothes. And so I think it happened twice. And I had more leaks from disposable diapers with my other two children than I ever had with cloth diapering. And so I don't think if that's your, maybe your concern of, of not doing it is because you don't think it'll work as well. I didn't have that issue. These work great for me. And they also come in a Velcro option. So if you don't want to have to do the snaps, you can do the Velcro, but I will warn you as they get older, they learn to pull those off. Um, they're also a little noisy. So if you're doing like nighttime diaper changes, that's um, not the greatest, but they are more convenient than the snaps. And they come in all different colors. And I got seven of these and that was enough for us. So you don't have to change the covers every time you change a diaper. Um, we typically just did it if it was like a really big poop or, you know, it was really wet. So we typically went through um, two to four of these a day. So it wasn't that big of a deal to have, this amount was perfect. And then you're also going to want clips. So instead of pins, we use these clips, which was really nice. They have these little teeth on the back and it just hooks into the diaper and that's what keeps it closed and, and attached. So I have four of these and that was enough. And if you're planning on cloth diapering at night, you'll probably want an extra layer of protection to absorb all the liquid. And so you can buy these extra pads to put inside and this is what we had. And that's all we had and you know, it worked out really well. So you're also going to want some cloth wipes. And so I got two different sizes. These are the cloth wipes from Green Mountain as well. And I think we had 12 of each one and they're really soft. And I know some people like to put them in like water and essential oils. And then all you have to do is just like take it out of a container and it's ready. But for me personally, that was a little too much more extra work. And so I just kept them dry. And then right before I would change his diaper, I would just grab one or two of them and go into the bathroom and get them really wet and then use that. And that was good enough for us. I also had a little bottle that I filled with some water if it wasn't quite enough and I would like just spray his bottom with the little spray bottle of water. And that was, that was good enough for us. And then you also wanna make sure you get some diaper cream and you have to make sure that it is uh, cloth diaper safe because some of the um, creams will uh, not be good for your cloth diapers. So you wanna make sure to avoid petroleum jelly calamine, paraffins, or, or mineral oils. So you just need to check and make sure that the diaper cream you're using is cloth diaper safe. And I'll link the one in the description that we used. Okay, so now I wanna show you how I store my diapers when they're clean and once they get dirty. So when they're clean, I just fold them and stick them in a basket and set them on my shelf. Same thing with the wipes in the covers. They just go in a basket like that and it's pretty simple. Okay, so then once the diaper is dirty, if he is just peed, then I put it in this waterproof bag, which you can get off of Amazon. I can link this on uh, the description if you want, but it has a zipper on top and you just put the diaper inside and that's where you keep the pee diapers. And then for the, the poop diapers, I just got a bucket here and I fill it halfway with water. And then I also add a little bit of borax. And then once I've cleaned the poop off of the diaper, I just store it in this water solution until I'm ready to wash the diapers. And that kind of helps get the smell and stink out of it. And then also they're not just sitting and getting gross <laughs> in the in a bag. So they're in the, the liquid with the borax. Okay, so now for the poopy diapers, the way you clean these is you want to go to your toilet. And I've 
installed a sprayer or it's basically a bidet and I bought a trash can and I had my husband cut out the bottom of the trash can and then I bought like a really sturdy clip and once I'm ready to clean the diaper I just hook the diaper on to the trash can like this and then I put this over the toilet and then I'll take the bidet and I'll spray everything off of the diaper into the toilet and then I flush it and then once the diaper is clean I just unclip it and put it into the poop bucket that is right next to the toilet and that's all you have to do so it's pretty easy I know some people they just flush the toilet with the diaper in the water and they just swish it around and it comes off but for me it just I didn't feel like that was enough pressure to get it off of the diaper and so I really like having the bidet I feel like it really gets everything off of there so if you are breastfeeding your baby, then that means when you go to clean the diapers, as long as they're not eating any solid foods, you don't even have to clean the poop off of the diaper. You can literally just throw it into the washing machine and turn it on and clean it and it'll be fine. So that was really nice. You know, the first six months, we didn't really have to do anything with spraying off poop in the toilet or anything. We just put it in that bucket and let it set for two or three days until we're ready to wash the diapers. But then once you start feeding them solid foods, you're gonna have to get all the poop off. Now the stain and you know the residual stuff is fine. You just wanna get off the chunky parts. <laughs> now, if your baby is formula fed, I found mixed information online about that. So you have to do your own research on if you give your baby formula if you need to get the poop off or if you can just throw it in the washing machine. I'm not really sure on that. Okay, so just to review, after your baby has a pee diaper, you just wanna put it into a waterproof bag that has a zipper on it so the smell stays inside. And then when they have a poopy diaper, as long as they are breastfed, you don't need to really do anything if you don't want to. You can just throw it into a bucket with water. And I like to add borax, which helps the process of you know, breaking things down and keeping the diapers soft. Once you start feeding your baby solid foods, you're going to want to use a bidet or some way of getting the poop off of the diaper. Now you can buy these splatter shields online, but I just had my husband make the one that I showed you with a trash can and a clip. So either way works but you wanna get all that poop off and same thing, then you just stick it into your bucket of water and borax. So once your baby has went through all the diapers and you're ready to actually wash them, what I do is I take the whole bag of diapers, including the poopy ones, and I just put them into the washing machine, including the bag. It can be washed as well. And you just dump everything into the washing machine. I put it on a rinse cycle for two rinses. So I don't put anything, any soap or anything in it at first. I just let it rinse it twice. That helps get any like extra stuff off that, you know, you didn't get off when you were spraying and um, it just gets them a little cleaner. Once those two rinse cycles have been finished, I'll add a little detergent and some borax into the washing machine. I do that and then once they have been washed, throw them into the dryer and I run one cycle of on the dry. And then usually the diapers are not fully dry, but the covers are. The covers actually say not to dry them, but I've found that they've held up pretty well from just doing like a 20 to 30 minute dry. It gets in the, in the dryer, it gets them mostly dry. So then I'll take the, the covers out and the bag out of the dryer. And then I'll just set the diapers back onto like a 40 minute dry cycle. And then after that, they're completely dry and I put them all away and it's pretty simple. Now you may have heard of people talking about stripping your diapers. And this is basically something that you need to do like occasionally because bacteria and minerals can build up in your diapers and then they'll start to smell or the stains won't come out or they may not be as absorbent as they used to be. But me personally, I've never had to strip my diapers and they don't stink, they don't have stains on them. And I think the reason for this is because every time I wash them, I use borax and that's just a natural stripping agent in itself. So I think that's 
part of why I haven't had to do this. I've also laid my diapers out to dry in the sun probably once or twice for each size. So I just did this occasionally and this takes all the stains out. The sun is nature's disinfectant. And so if you just lay it out in the sun, it's going to kill all the bacteria that's still living in the diaper and it will actually remove stains. I couldn't believe it because you know, when they're little, the poop can really stain things. You just lay it out in the sun and it completely goes away. It's amazing. And so, yeah, like I said, I've never had to strip my diapers and I have really hard water. So I was really surprised at this, but my diapers don't smell and they don't have any stains. So I think if you do the borax and lay them out in the sun, maybe every other month, you're going to be fine. If you're enjoying this video and would like to see more content on how to create a life full of happiness, health, and peace, then make sure you subscribe because that's what this channel is all about. So now let's talk about the benefits of cloth diapering. So the first big one is that it's so much better for your baby. Most disposable diapers are full of chemicals and who knows what. So when you cloth diaper, you know exactly what is getting put on your baby's skin and it's so soft and your baby is just gonna love it. They're gonna feel so much more comfortable in that cloth diaper than in some plastic, hot, sweaty, sticky, you know, disposable diaper. They're just not as comfortable. And my baby that I cloth diapered never had a diaper rash, never. We had a few cases where maybe we didn't realize he had pooped and so, you know, his butt was a little red but by the next day it was completely gone. Now on the other hand, with my other two kids that we did disposable diapers with, they had diaper rashes quite often actually. So I definitely think cloth diapering is the way to go if you're trying to prevent diaper rashes or if your baby has really sensitive skin, it's definitely worth looking into. Another benefit with cloth diapering is that your baby is supposed to be able to be potty trained sooner. Now, fingers crossed <laughs> that that works for us. We're not quite there yet but um, I'm hoping that that'll be the case, but we'll see. Another big benefit is that it's so much better for the environment to use cloth diapers because disposable diapers take up to 500 years to break down. That's a really long time to just be sitting in the landfill, you know? So it's definitely better for the environment if um, you choose cloth diapers. And one of the biggest benefits that I saw with using cloth diapers is how much money we saved. I guess on average nowadays, people spend between 18 and $2,700 for three years to put diapers on their baby, disposable diapers. That's a, that's a lot of money if you think about it. And for me to buy all of the supplies I needed, all the diapers, all the cloth wipes, the covers, all of that was under $330. $330, that's all I spent. So it's definitely been a very big savings for us. Now I know you still have to consider buying soap and uh, water and electricity to wash the diapers. So that is an extra expense, but overall it's still going to save you a lot of money. Now I will add that we started off doing cloth diapers at night, but he was not a very good sleeper. <laughs> and I thought maybe it was because he was wet and so we did decide to start doing disposable diapers at night. And I do think that helped him sleep a little bit. It was definitely easier on me and my husband as far as, you know, midnight diaper changes. We didn't have to do that because he wasn't as wet. So we do spend probably 10 to $15 a month now on um, putting him in a diaper at night. Or if we go on a longer road trip, we will put him in a disposable diaper because it's just easier. And now that he is one year old, we have also been starting to use regular wipes. Obvious reasons, it's just getting a lot messier. <laughs> There's more to clean. And so it's just a little easier if to use um, disposable wipes. But overall, we've fully enjoyed using cloth diapers. I would definitely do it again. And I definitely recommend you look into it because there are so many great benefits. Thank you so much for watching today and if you found this video helpful make sure you give me a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video have a great day bye